The face on this clock completely disintegrated, so I used SketchUp to design a new one, and I thought that would be a cool tutorial. So I'll do it again and record it. So here we are in SketchUp 8. I like to use the older version because the licensing on it is less restrictive and it can do as much as the new one. I'm going to draw just a uh, plane to establish where I'm going to put the clock face. And let's draw a circle of um, 20 centimeters in diameter or 10 centimeters in radius. So I'm just punching in 10 right there. And there's our circle. Now a circle by default in SketchUp has 24 segments. So if we go into Entity here, um, and the circle has 24 sides, I want that nice and smooth, so let's make it 60 sides. And now you can't really tell that it's made out of segments. I'm going to take the circle, and I'm going to make an entity out of it, uh, because I don't want things to stick to it. Let's draw a vertical line here to help me with uh, drawing the divisions for the hours. So I'll draw a rectangle here, and I want that to be centered around the top. So I'm just going to select the top here and move it here, and that's an hour mark. And uh, let's make that into an object as well. Turning things into objects is a very useful kind of practice. And now I need the minute marks. Let's just hover on the edge of the circle and then somewhere there. So now it's easy to find the center of that circle, because I'll need to find that many times. Now I'm going to rotate this mark by 1 60th of a circle. This is 6 degrees, and I want to rotate about the center. So now I'll go like this, and I'll hold down Control, which copies it. And now I punch in 6, and there's my first minute mark. And I need uh, those everywhere except for the hour marks, but I want this to be a bit smaller. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make this unique, make unique, and that makes it a new object, because now I can go into this object. I've just opened the object, and I'm going to make this object a little bit smaller, so I'll take this line down here, drag it up a little bit, and take the sides, and bring those in a little bit too. And let's come out of it again. Now, Let's rotate it again to make some more minute marks. Let's make the minute marks for the first hour or so, and we'll rotate it 6 degrees again, and times 3. So I want 4 of those marks, and let's take that. That's the marks for 1 hour's worth, and I'll make that an object again. Being strategic about uh, objects is a very useful thing in SketchUp. And now let's rotate that thing again for the hours. And I'll hover on the edge here, and that will allow me to snap to the middle of the circle. And I hold down Control when I do the rotate, and I type in 30. So there's my second hour, and I want that to go all the way around. So now I punch in down here times 11, because I actually want 11 copies, not one. And there's all of my divisions on there. Now what I should have done is I should have actually made these things black. So I'll use the paint tool. There's a paint tool. And I'll select black. And because these are objects, these are all the ones on the edge are now black. And I'll do the same thing with the minute ones. And these are all copies of the same object. So if I modify one, that modifies all of them. We are running into some bit of problem here because I've got this background plane that is on the same plane as these things here. Um, but I still want that background plane to be there. But if I delete that background plane and this circle, you can see these are all there now. I'm just going to hit uh, Alt Backspace to get that back again to undo. Now, we also need some numbers. And I'm going to use the uh, 3D text tool, this tool here, to draw some numbers. I have this set to 2 centimeters. Place, there's a 1. Now, how do I place these well? Um, so I'm going to open this object here, and I'm going to draw just a little circle here as a guide to where I want to place my numbers. And uh, let's delete the middle of this circle. So you'll notice there's 12 copies of this circle now because I'm actually taking this object that has 12 copies. Um, I'll delete this circle later on, but that circle will be useful for guiding where to place 
the text tools, 3D text again to get the second one, two. And just to be different, I'm going to label the top of the clock with a zero. I think I'm pretty happy with where my digits ended up. This one may be a little bit further to the left, and um, it's still snapping, but I'll tell it to move it by 0.05. And that puts it in the middle. So now I don't need these circles anymore. So I'll just hide that in case I need it again. Let's get rid of this background plane and this part here. And we're still seeing these things a little bit blinky and that's because these lines are in the same plane as this background circle that I drew. We could just delete it and we have the clock face but now we have the background in here. So let's go into window styles and I'll pick a style that doesn't have a background, this one here, and we'll get rid of the axes. And I no longer need these uh, guidelines. And to make sure I'm not distorting this clock face, I'm going to do camera, standard views, front. And to be on the safe side, we'll also turn on parallel projection. And now I know I have no distortion. And uh, these hour marks look a little bit heavy, so I'll just take that and I'll make that a little bit smaller. And I'll bring the sides in by a little bit. Now that snaps at 1 millimeters or 0.1 centimeters for me right now that we have it configured, but I want it half of that much, so I'll just enter the number 0.05 centimeters. And I'll drag the other side in by the same amount. And close that object and there's a clock face and just to be nerdy I'm gonna color these by the resistance decade type uh, numbers or colors so uh, black means zero so I'll take the paint tool and I'll color this one black and I did the same thing with the other numbers but I'll spare you the details on that And there's our clock face. Now for printing, I don't really trust SketchUp to actually print what you see is what you get. So to now print this out, I'm going to export this. Export. So there is the drawing and I'm going to use a piece of software that I wrote that I actually sell called Big Print. And I'll drag the clock face into it. And let's crop this to what I need, or C for crop. And I know the uh, this clock is 19 and a half centimeters across, so I'll just mark the distance on here as 19.5 centimeters. And that scales it accordingly, and that tells me that still fits on one page. Although I noticed I accidentally cropped off the top of it. Uh, image, undo crop. So the scale calibration is still correct. Let's crop that again. Crop. And now I can print this. I don't have to worry about the scale thingy in here. That won't print. So we select print and print again. And now we just click this button. I don't know what kind of inferior paper they use for this. 